Hello, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Next is the Bias Series Clipper. Again, the Series Clipper for the refreshing diode and load resistance are in series. So you can see it is a Series Clipper. Why bias? The voltage source is connected in series with the diode. Now, how to go about the analysis? We first look at the DC bias voltage. What is doing DC bias voltage? Positive is connected to the positive of the diode. That means the DC source is forward biasing the diode. That means the circuit for this will look like you have the supply battery 2 volts. The diode is short circuited. Then the load resistance which is RL. The circuit will look like this. You have EO, RL, then 2 volts plus minus VI. Since this voltage is forward biasing the diode, the diode is shown as short circuited. So when you apply KVL from this point till this point, what will be the equation for KVL? VI plus 2 minus VO equals to 0. So your VO will be VI plus 2. That means plus 2 volts is the DC shift. Why? If your VI is 0, still you are getting output as 2 volts. That means the initial 0 level which is there in the input signal is now shifted to 2 volts. This is indicated by this equation. That is the 2 volts shift. Now, your diode is forward bias for VI 0. You are getting output voltage as 2 volts. Then your VI is increasing from 1 to 15 volts. So what will be the range for VO? It will start from 2 and it will go to 17 volts in the positive half cycle. This is how we are finding the waveform for the positive half cycle. So it will start from 2 volts. It will go till 15 volts. So total from 0 it will be 17 volts swing. And again it will come to 2. Now what will happen in the negative half cycle? Now in the negative half cycle the circuit will look like same you have the diode which will be initially short circuited because 2 volts is greater than the negative supply the load resistance RL you have and the output voltage. I am using the same equation VI plus 2 minus VO is equal to 0 that means VO is VI plus 2 initially your VI will become 0 0 plus 2 will be 2 volts then minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 will be 1 volt then minus 2 plus 2 will be 0 volt. This is the point till which the diode is forward bias. After minus 2 your voltage will be minus 3 plus 2 which will be minus 1. So for diode here it will be minus. So for positive terminal you are providing minus 1 volt that is your reverse biasing the diode. So after 2 volt the circuit will look like the diode will be open circuited there will be no current in the load resistance. Since there is no current in the load resistance, your VO will be 0. Hence, you will not get any output after 2 volts. So, if you are marking 2 volts DC level, after 2 volts, you will get output till minus 2 volts. After that, you won't get any output. Finally, waveform, when you look at it, you are getting from 2 volts, you will get output till 15 volts, then till 2 volts, then till minus 2 volts, you will get the output. Then after minus 2, you won't get any output. This is how you will get the waveform for the bias series clipper circuit as shown in the diagram.